Brain tumors are a relatively common neurological problem in older dogs and cats. The symptoms of a brain tumor depend on where in the brain the tumor is. Tumors in the front part of the brain may cause seizures, compulsive walking in circles, blindness in one or both eyes, weakness on one side of the body, or behavior changes. Tumors in the back part of the brain may also cause behavior changes, decreased levels of awareness, wobbly or incoordinated walking, head tilt, abnormal eye movements, and weakness in the limbs. It's important to understand that these symptoms tell us where in the nervous system the problem is, but don't necessarily mean that a brain tumor is the cause. There are many other neurological conditions that can cause the exact same symptoms. With that said, let's talk a little bit more about each of these symptoms. A seizure is an abnormal burst of electrical activity in the front part of the brain. There are many causes of seizures, including problems outside of the brain like low blood sugar or toxins, or problems inside of the brain like encephalitis, strokes, and brain tumors. Idiopathic epilepsy is the most common cause of seizures. Dogs and cats with structural problems in the front part of the brain tend to walk towards the side of the brain that the problem is on. They may seem blind in the opposite eye and may have postural reaction deficits on the opposite side of the body. Dogs and cats with structural problems in the back part of the brain may show symptoms of vestibular disease, including head tilt where the head is cocked to one side, nystagmus in which the eyes have rhythmic jerking, and strabismus or abnormal position of the eye. Some dogs with problems in the back part of the brain may have other symptoms including droopiness on one side of the face, atrophy of the muscles on one side of the head, atrophy of the tongue, or decreased levels of consciousness. Again, these symptoms by themselves do not equate to a brain tumor, and there are many other neurological conditions that may cause these exact same symptoms. Since so many different conditions can look the same, it's important to have your pet evaluated by a neurologist if they are showing any of these symptoms. This will give you and your pet the best chance of knowing what is going on so that a diagnostic and treatment plan can be developed.